Hello, you too. I have a question for you. Um, and uh, the question came up to my mind since an incident I had uh, probably like two years, probably three years ago. Two years ago, um, I remember I had a dog. At that time, the dog was probably two years old. In my house, I had a um, backyard with, it was all fenced, and I had a little gate, you know, and I used to leave the dog in the back, you know, during the afternoons. So one day, my uh, insurance life guy just show up without calling me, without telling me anything, he just show up. So I hear, I hear the, uh, the back door uh, knocking. So I open it up. I was doing, uh, I was helping my kids doing homework at home. My daughter was helping one of my sons and I was helping my oldest. I open the door and the guy is standing there. Say, oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I couldn't call you, but there is some stuff that we need to talk about the uh, life insurance and this and that and this and that. And I'm just looking back and I can see my kids, you know, I need to finish with the homework. And I said, you know what, just, just come in and, let, you know, let's get over with it. So I let him sit in the kitchen. And I let him sit in the kitchen. And he's, you know, he started telling me, you know, we got problem with this and some couple things that we need to fix and this and that and this and that then we get into this conversation and probably by 20 25 minutes later the guy says oh Alex you know I forgot when I get <coughs> he just parked in the back this you know probably I forgot to tell you this he parked in the back parking lot and that's where the entrance of the back of the house is and he says oh I forgot I, I opened the gate and your little uh, dog just came on I said what happened is the dog outside I said yeah oh, I forgot yeah the dog it just ran I don't know where he went fuck I just called my daughter I remember I did all this so quick that I forgot I left the guy sitting in the table I just jump out of the table and I call my daughter I said look you just look at the front and I'm gonna look at the back where the woods you know I got up I, I had a parking lot in the back and after that I had the woods you know I was afraid that the dog is gonna run in the woods and he's gonna get lost so I just run in the back trying to find it and my daughter is looking in the front where the street you know where the street is I couldn't find the dog it was late probably like 7 30 at the night it was dark so i go to the front to see my daughter she was looking for the dog and then i can see my daughter coming back and she was crying and, oh, and then oh god damn it tell me that this is not real so what happened what happened she can't even talk she can't even talk. just just go inside and take care of your take care of your uh, your, your brothers I go out the front street and uh, I can see a bunch of cars stop and a bunch of people, you know, just looking at the, uh, looking down and I just start pushing people away and I see the dog. The dog was ran over by a car and it just happened because I remember when I grabbed the dog, it, still, it was warm still. God damn it. So I grabbed the dog and I put it on the sidewalk and the guy who ran over the, uh, the dog just, man, I'm sorry, man, the dog just came up from nowhere. And I don't even remember what I said to the guy, you know, because my mind, it just, now, my mind, it was just completely blurry, you know. So I just go inside and I kick the, the guy's ass out of the house and I told him just, get the fuck out of here right now I don't even remember if the guy the, the guy tried to talk to me or something I remember that the guy just disappeared in just two seconds and then I go inside the house and I can I can remember I remember that picture like if it is today my kids completely out of control crying my wife 
you know, we all love the dog, you know, it's, it's part of the family. You know how it is. When you have a dog, it becomes part of the family. It was a really, really rough night that night. It was very difficult. You know, I remember my kids, you know, one of my kids asking why, 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 you know, the youngest one. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't in love with the dog. Every minute in the house, he was with the dog. You know, he was asking why, why, why. It was difficult. So since then, since then, every time I go to a service in a residential customer, I always pay special attention for pets. So if I hear dogs barking, or if I see the front carpet with something related to pets, I know that they're gonna have pets in the house. And I ask immediately after I introduce myself, I always ask, uh, please, if you have dogs or cats, just put them away in a room until I finish with my service because I may need to come inside the house uh, in, in more than one occasion. So just please, put them away it's not that I don't you know this is what I'm this is the way that I am I love animals I love pets but I'm, a, I'm very concerned about them you know because I don't want something to happen like something that happened to me so most of the customer they agree and they understand my concerning and they say yeah no problem no problem I'm gonna keep the dogs away so they, I'm just close the door I'm in the door and they, they put the dogs or the cats away so then I can proceed with my service uh, but most of the customers they understand right away a couple weeks ago I had a lady and she didn't like when I asked her to put the dogs away she had a couple of dogs and I asked her you know just put the dogs away you know because just just for the safety of, the, of your pets you know and she didn't like it. I can see on her face that she didn't like it, you know. Uh, because, you know, probably probably she likes to have the pets around her, you know. But it's just, my concern is the safety, you know, of the animals. I don't want, I don't want to open the, I don't want to be opening the door and then see the cat running away and get ran over by a car or something like that, you know, or just get lost. But that particular uh, lady, she didn't like it. And uh, she got a kind of an attitude because I just asked her to put the animals away. You know, I'm trying to explain at the end of my service, you know, why I want the animals away. It's not that I don't like animals, I love animals, but I'm just concerned about the safety. She didn't say too much, she just signed my paperwork and I left. But, you know, for most of the time people understand why. Some people look like they don't, but the thing is the safety of, of one member of the family, which is can be your dog or your cat or any animal. I don't know if you guys have a different approach when you do a service, but that's the way I do it. I always ask to put the dogs or the cats away during my service. So if you have any uh, different way to do it, please put it on the uh, comment below. Just share with all of us if you have a different way to do it. But uh, yeah, that was one of the uh, things that happened. So I would like to hear from you guys. Thank you very much for hearing.